So let's go ahead and finish this off by doing a quick run through of the editor. For this, I will go ahead and create a new disk. that we can work on. Since the fourth interpreter is entirely resident and the words that were loaded into the system are now resident in memory, I can take the disk out and replace it with something else, such as my source code disk. So with that in mind, we'll go ahead and list the first screen on this disk. As you can see, ASCII 0, it's all blank. This disk is completely blank. So in essence, if you really wanted to, you could use the list command to physically look at any disk that you put into the drawing. It doubles as kind of a sector viewer of sorts. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and we'll use a couple of commands that are useful here for us. Go over to our list of the editor, things in the editor here. Whoops, sorry. and we will actually look at a few things that we're going to use. Now we've already looked at list and now we're going to look at clear to clear off a screen of the disk, make it nice and blank so we can edit on it. And we're going to show how to input text as we can see right here. No problem. So let's go back to our emulator we will clear off screen zero. Oh, sorry, before we do that, we need to actually switch into the editor vocabulary. If we look at V list here, we'll see that one of the commands that we've added here is editor. Editor is a special word that enables a vocabulary. Now I'm listing the standard vocabulary and then typing editor, and then I'm gonna list the vocabulary again to show you the difference. editor, hit OK, and OK lets us know that it was valid and that it switched the vocabulary. Now look, now we have a whole set of words here specifically for the editor. C, till, X, B, F, N, etc. In addition to the words that we already have, code, assembler, and whatnot that are in the main vocabulary. I'll go into vo to vocabularies in a, few, in a future video, but suffice it to say that vocabularies are simply collections of words that you can turn on and turn off as you need them. So, with that in mind, we've uh, gone in and used editor to enable it. And now we can do zero clear to clear off the first sector of the disk. And as you can see right now, now that screen is nice and empty for you to do uh, edits on. Now, once you do a list, fourth sets that list sets the active screen to whatever you use for list or whatever you use for clear, etc. So, if you, uh, subsequent editing commands happen on the screen that you're editing. So, with that in mind, let's add our first line. I'm switching into lowercase here because I like doing that. Now, for this, what we wound up doing, we use the p command. The p command takes one, uh, one parameter, which is the line to edit, and anything after the p command is just a series of words to take and put onto a given line. That's it. That's how you insert stuff onto the line. Fourth convention basically states that the first line uh, should be used for uh, basically a description of what the screen actually is. Now, remember the red, the red command that we created earlier, the red background command. Let's go ahead and add it into our screen here. Again. So there's our first word here, and let's add another one. 
and we'll go ahead and make a little uh, we'll go ahead and make a little explanation as to what this is and you'll notice as I go down to each I specify each line with a P to edit the next line and so on and so on now I add another command another word You can use as many or as few spaces as you want. It's all in the name of readability. Fourth is simply going to parse each word as it comes. It really doesn't matter. The spaces and the formatting are entirely for your benefit or for the benefit of anybody who would be reading the code. So, once again, Clear the screen. Now let's look at what we have. We can, of course, use the zero list command again. But since we're already in the editor, we can use a shortcut to show us the current screen and the last lines that and the word and the line and the uh, where the cursor currently is inside the editor. So there we are. There's our new screen right here, and since uh, we're basically done, this is all I'm going to put on this screen. I'll go ahead and, as convention, I'll add a word for it to stop loading right here. With a comment. You can put comments wherever you choose. Once again. And there we go. Now how do we use it? Red background is not in our word dic uh, dictionary. Neither is clear screen. So how do we get it on? Well, we do the same thing that we did earlier to load uh, our full environment to load this screen. So we simply put the number of the screen and load. And it interprets our uh, it interprets our environment as we need it. Oops, sorry. Oh, actually, sorry. There's a bug in this fig forth. Let me go ahead and use a command real quick to copy this screen zero to screen one. <laughs> And we use here a, cop a command called copy. It has two parameters, the source screen and the destination screen. And I'll go ahead and clear this screen out. Now we're on screen one. And we'll go ahead and load this just to see. I'm going to go ahead and use another word here too. When I know I'm done editing something, I will type the flush command to write out any buffers that are uh, currently active directly to the disk so I know that everything is written out because all writes in forth are buffered to screens. So use the flush command from time to time. So let's go ahead and load this screen, shall we? As we can see, the screen loads up. We do a vocabulary list, and we see our clear screen and red background right there where we can use them. Okay. See? And there we go. So that's everything that you need right there. And of course, we can go ahead and save our little test disk. And there, there we have our source code. We can take and load it back in later. It's all done the same way.
In the next video, I'm actually going to take and expand on these concepts a bit more and take you into some of the code that I started writing for my demo. Until next time, see you guys soon.